Yeah, that's fair. That's live uh, we were production, just, folks. I was just talking about Ben Gleason. Um, the answer? Yeah, the answer. <laughs> a lot of hyperbole. A lot of people saying, oh, you put him on the team over DeHarnay or something crazy like that. It's, that, it's not going to happen. But again, this goes back to a lot of a lot of different ways to make an impact in the preseason. And with a guy like Borgo, I think his solid play has put him on the radar for a call-up maybe earlier than we would have thought two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And I think Ben Gleason's the same way. I think just based off what I've seen now in the preseason, I know the handedness can always throw this stuff off, but Ben Gleason has jumped a guy like Marcus Niemelainen in the definitely. call-up order. Yeah, I think Ben Gleason has put himself firmly in the eighth defenseman spot. He's jumped Cam Deneen. He's jumped Marcus Niemelainen. That's what the preseason's done yep. for Ben Gleason here. He's been that good. I think that's an astute pickup by the Edmonton Oilers. A very smart signing. Probably jumped Hoffenmeyer as well. Um, I I really, really like his game. He seems versatile. Seems like a guy you can plug into a bunch of different spots. That was a good find. And again, mm-hmm. this preseason and this strong play does not go to waste because he's likely going to get sent down in the next week. He's made an impact, and that won't go away. And that matters too, right? Like imagine, let's just say Vincent Downey has a bad first 20 games or so of the season, and they think, well, Ben Gleason was pretty good for us, and yep. he's had a good start in Bakersfield. Like, they're not going to hesitate to have to call somebody up. And we've always spoke about like the organization needs depth, and you get a guy like Gleason who had 33 points in the AHL last yeah. season in almost 70 games. Like He's a good player. I don't think he should start on this roster opening day. I know no. a lot of people like that, but to be respectful to the players you have in that position already, I don't think he's he's maybe been better than Dehane. If this was the 2013, 2012 Edmonton he's Oilers, there. he's there. Mm-hmm. But we're like we said earlier, we are at a different spot with this organization. There are <laughs> not that many jobs up for grabs with the Edmonton Oilers anymore. No. When you come to camp, you know you are basically fighting for your order on the depth chart, your order on the call-up list. And Ben Gleason's moved up. 